Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So, um, it is, what day is it? I forget. Tuesday after the bank holiday. First day back at work. You know how it is. Um, so, beer review and chat tonight. You know, I keep trying to chuck the odd chat one in. A bit longer beer review, you know. Uh, so, we're off over, although I've caught the front of the bottle. We're off over to Rib Brewer in Bridlington for his Oyster Catcher. It's a 4.2%, I presume an Oyster Stout, we'll say on the back. Oyster Catcher, smooth taste with an hint of oyster. Brewed on February the 10th, 2023. So let's dive in. So yeah, first day back at work. Oh, the, isn't it nice that, I don't know about which part of the country or the world you're in, and if you watch this on near enough on the date but isn't it nice to get some warmth i know it's been raining and it did chuck it down today thunderstorms but we had a lovely warm day i got to work and for the first time this year i could see visible difference at work so there you go lovely dark pour nice tan head on that look at that and you know it fills me with encouragement that uh, obviously, you know, I try, try uh, to use my channel um, for good. Not to make myself make a job out of it. I've already got a job. Um, obviously, I'd like, there's, there's things I'd like to do, but it never happens, so no use worrying about that. But, um, and it's nice that across the country, uh, when breweries, you know, not that no one needs to thank anybody. No one needs to like your beer reviews. No one needs to comment on your beer reviews. You know, it is what it is. You know, I really do the beer reviews for me. I don't really do the beer reviews for anybody else. I've always done the beer reviews for me. But I like to be positive, you know. Uh, beer reviews are my form of helping my anxiety my mental health issues tonight uh, i had no sleep last night literally about an hour of sleep if that uh so i've been tired today won't be backside off like i always do but i'm, sh I'm absolutely like a walking zombie at the moment uh but nonetheless i still worked hard and uh and doing that and giving out uh positivity towards the beer community is what this stands for anyway let's get on with the beer anyway never mind yakking so as you can see it's it's in the uh, joseph holt glass so it's you're going to get the black and black two shades of black there reminds me of that um from benny dorm where he uh it turns around to the girl the woman in madge in the eye chair and wheelchair and says two shade turtle down there yeah <laughs> it's a lovely roastiness on the poor lovely head on that yeah, lovely roastiness on the poor. Oh, I'm as first. I've had not had a drink. I've not had an alcoholic drink today. It's like eight, about nearly half eight at night. So you'll see this on Wednesday. So it takes me time to upload. Um, and I've not had, actually had a drink, water, coffee, or anything since about quarter to four. Uh, that's like nearly five hours, and I'm gasping for just for some liquid. Fact that it's booze, booze and it helps helps always. Oh, smooth, roasty, hints of coffee, chocolate going off. Oh. oh and like I was saying, uh, so bit of beer review, bit of chat. Got to work today, walks into work. We had a coronation party at my workplace. And I worked my backside off to make sure it was looking as good as it could do. You know, there's things you can't. You can't make all the flowers just burst out into flower. You can't make the grass grow where cars have ran over it and turned it into soil. Although I'm, I've seeded it, so I'm trying. Um, but it, I, I striped it up at the weekend. The borders were all looking great. And I tell you what, it's really starting to come along now. I'm really starting to see 
the work pay off. Uh, and I came back today after a few three days not being there, and I could see growth. I could see where some idiots had pulled a plant up, and it's like, why pull plants up, you stupid people? Uh, but you can see where stuff's growing. And uh, it gets to the stage where I put spiky plants in. So when they go and try and pull them, they, they, they run off crying. You know, because it's only kids doing it. Uh, it's not adults. So it all depends. You know, I've done it at the Arboretum where we, where we had to put spiky plants in because of people walking through areas where they shouldn't be walking through. And we just put certain spiky plants in that no one walks through because they absolutely obliterate you. I hate them and all. But uh, I hope. But, um... I've been weeding, planting spinach, beet, garlic, uh, chives today, weeding through beds with um, broad beans in, uh, with red raspberries that we've got, um, planted another long bed, weeded it first, levelled it off, uh, planted potato peelings, P potato peelings, so you cut your chips and you get the potato peelings. You don't chuck them in the bin, don't you? No, 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 don't do that. You've got an empty bit of garden. Dig a little hole, chuck them in the hole, a few in each hole. Obviously, watch, try and keep the weeds off for a bit. They'll come up at this time of the year and you'll have tatties at the end of the season. Dogs are good. Ones. And I've been planting tomato plants as well. So, And then also squash. And now, now's the, now I'm in the season now where things are going to start to develop plants uh, they're going to start to put a spur to growth on uh, when they get warm at least um, and uh, now is the time where I'll use my cold frame because it's it gets really warm in there put plant, plants on, on the windowsill inside the the marquee use I've got these like big plastic containers and I put the pots inside and I put the lid on top so imagine this put the pots pots in there lid on the top on a flat surface where slugs and uh mice can't get in because we have issues with mice um and uh yeah it works it works really well and uh come friday i've, I've got the mowing to do first because we've got a wedding at the weekend and then uh because the weather is so warm i'm gonna go ahead and start planting pumpkins and butternut put a bit of uh protection with um either coffee grounds or the doors didn't give me any today or slug pellets put slug pellets around just to help them out while they get established once they're established no slug can eat, eat that m amount of leaf uh, but um and you know do that and uh it's so exciting it's i work all all, all winter to see my fruits and my labour in the spring and summer months and this year this year unlike like last year was good although we were fighting a drought this year there's no drought the weather's getting warmer um and when it that rain and warmth combine together uh, your grass at home is going to grow like the clappers. Your weeds are going to grow like the clappers. Your hedges are going to grow like the clappers. But a lot of my stuff is going to grow like the clappers too. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, an absolute wealth of stuff. So I've got that 20 odd beds of strawberries, rhubarb, yellow raspberries, red raspberries. Um, which, just in case of keeping bloody mice and stuff off them. And slugs, but um, trying to protect them just for the initial first few weeks. Um, but yeah, yeah, super looking forward to, to to where we go from from here. So that's my gardening day. Um, obviously, the stag do was uh, two days. Was it yesterday or two days ago? Two days ago now. Well, yeah, it was two days ago, wasn't it? Jesus Christ, time goes fast. Yeah, it was a good stag do. Uh, six of us were there. Seven in total, but one went and then another one came. Uh, sadly, I was the first one to get battered. 
um, as in beer. Uh, I've got to learn that lesson to not f to drink, eat some bloody food when you're drinking. Uh, if you're on a session, if you're on two or three pints, it's not so much a bother. But if you're on a big session, drinking big, big ABV, you need to be eating. So, hey ho. Lesson learnt, you know. Uh, one day I'll actually learn my lesson. Uh, one day. Um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> one day. I've got the recipe to brew Raggy's Golden Ale uh, on all grain. I've got the recipe. I need to pass it on to my mate at Brew Day Supplies, who does all the all grain kits, so that he can finagle it and work it out. Because I ain't got a clue. Gobbledy gook to me. Um, work it out. So that you know, in, in layman's terms, um, and uh, yeah, uh, the raggy's golden ale. I'm gonna try and brew it, it doesn't need long, so I'm literally gonna brew it at the end of May, um, to a couple of weeks' time. Um, ready for July the 14th as well. So, um, one, two, three maybe four barrels and then my fermentation bucket with this tap on as well with bearing um and i'm looking forward to seeing how how it uh, how it all goes and uh yeah seeing how that side of things goes anyway the beer itself tasting amazing uh like i say since we went to Bridling, Bridlington, went in to Bridbrewer, me and Andy, and the family came in afterwards. Um, and obviously the beer, you know, it was a lovely beer. And uh, I, I, I watch breweries across the internet anyway. And you know, with so many breweries going downhill, scary time, scary time to be in the brewery trade. I've got friends who've just gone into the brewery trade or back into the brewery trade. We've got local breweries. Two Matt's Brewing Company out of Sutton and Ashfield. Used to be Scribbler's Ales. Or, yeah, Scribbler's Ales. One of them did. Um, Red Dog Ales. He's set up his own um, brewery as well. Um, uh, Dungeon Brewing. Mate of mine. He's setting up his. So uh, it's exciting times. Uh, they're all doing brewing in slightly different ways. Two Matt's Brewing Company. They're in, they're in pubs already. Uh, and do you know something? The micro pubs in Nottingham, they're amazing. Absolutely love the micro pubs in Nottingham because they support local breweries and, and small breweries. Uh, they, they'll put their beer on amongst your vocations and your, all these big breweries. They'll put that beer on and it sells like a trooper. And that's how good it is. And uh, yeah, I love that. I love uh, I mean, it probably happens all around the country. But I love the fact that the the pubs of Nottingham really do support the little guy. And, uh, if there's anything, uh, again, that this channel should do, is, is point out to breweries, bigger breweries, and say, look, why don't you do a collab with them or something? You know, and everyone was a small brewery at some stage and who got their push up in life and got lucky. Same as beer reviewers, you know, everyone was a beer reviewer at some stage who started off with a small following and probably eclipsed what I've got by some distance, probably. Um, but, um, and obviously, I've changed the channel a bit now, it's not full on just full big beer reviews every single day an hour two hours down the shed which you know takes a lot of i ain't got the time anyway you know literally working that hard to bring the pennies in to to, to keep afloat that you, you just you know it, it is what it is i mean tonight i've actually came home at three o'clock uh 
because it chucked it down with the thunderstorms but um yeah um i would have been working till half five um after work and tomorrow i'll be working after work first ever working after work friday i'm finishing at 12 o'clock but i'm doing a gardening job and then i'm going to come home get changed straight into town oh yeah and uh, i'm going to the castle rock yard party so yeah and then the wife's stag a uh, hen do hen do um on on saturday so i'm off the beer all day well we'll see how that goes I might have two pints and then then they, then actually be off the beer uh, and when she comes home i'll have a drink then <laughs> but uh yeah always nice to know when people get home safe yeah it's something isn't it you know my wife picked me up the other day and i was battered on my stag do absolutely battered um like i say i started off in the barley twist i had two halves in there um osset brewery castle rock that was nice that was if you see that out and about whoa, that was some beer and then mild stalins which was the uh castle rock and black iris mild nice i had the castle rock um majesty yeah that was okay it was okay. I, I wouldn't want to drink it again. You know, it was okay. Uh, then I had the ankle bite of the Salt Beer Factory collab. That was next on the agenda. From there to News House at a Rivington, a North Riding Brew Company. North Riding, not far away from Burlington Brewery. Bud 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 Brew. Uh, and he was there, uh, well, on the internet today. So this will be yesterday. But he was there at the uh, North Riding Brew Pub, and uh, that's a cracking pub. If you ever go to Scarborough, make sure that you get your backsides over to North Riding Brew Pub. Good range of beer on there. Bottles to take away. I did not take no bottles away. And uh, you know how you are on holidays. You, you try to be prudent that you're spending. And, uh, and I've learned my lesson that not to be prudent. Just bloody spend and <laughs> think about it later. Worry about it when I get home. Although I'll never spend anything more than I've got. Never have done. Um, but yeah, um, North Riding Brew Pub. Yeah. Uh, and Rivington, they're, they're mild. Wah. Now the Bang the Elephant um, Tropical Beer, Dog Days, in there. And then from there, went to um, Cock and Hook and had a 13.6% Belgian quad. <gasps> Absolutely kicked my arse. Um, oh my God. Yeah, it was strong. It was. Half a pint of the bugger and all. Should have only had a third. Still had no food at that time. I've had no food the old duration. And I had a couple more thirds in there. Round Corner Brewing. Uh, another Bang the Elephant. Then from there to the Keen's Head and a tour side one and I can't remember what the other one was. From the Keen's Head to Bunker's Hill had a Tartarus and uh, Vault City 14.5% MP. I think it was, it was half, half a pint and all. Dolce de Lecky Imperial Scout. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then from there into Neon Raptor and had an Imperial start in there. You know, you should be calming down by that stage or getting some bloody food down you. But I didn't. And then I don't even remember walking into Fox and Great. I don't remember getting I remember vaguely how I got into the car. But uh, by that time I was already yeah, gone. But thank you to the, you know, I've got to thank my mates for looking after me. Uh and for Keith, when I got to my house, chucking chucking shoes at me. Well, I'm on the settee, fast asleep. I'm there on I'm on, I'm there on the chair, fast asleep, lad. And he's like that, chucking chair, chucking shoes at me. <laughs> I'm comatose. Oh dear, all oh, good fun. Uh, yeah. Woke up next. Woke up next. Obviously, I didn't know that was going on. Woke up next morning at half four, and that. And now, where am I? Oh, I'm at home, that's good. And uh, looks over, I can see a phone. I thought, oh, my phone, thank God. Looks over, my other phone, I'm like, oh, thank God. So I've got me, that phone there, and then my normal phone. Um, 
went to the toilet, come back into bed, and I'm like, what time is it? Uh, me and all went off because it was Monday morning. So there you are, I'm scratching from your arm. I thought, right, what happened? And I, and I could see videos and photographs, and I thought, right, I ended up at neon wrap, so I knew that anyway. Um, but there was nothing after neon wrap, so I thought, right, that was it then. That was the moment I was gone. Uh, so I'm like put, putting the jigsaw puzzle together and trying to find out where the hell I, what, what I'd done. The videos, uh, the beer reviews ran out at Neon Raptor. Well, Neon Raptor beer review was a drunken mess of a beer review. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I've, I have uploaded it. The one afterwards I deleted because it was, yeah, yeah, did not portray any of us in a good light. We're all steaming. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a good day. It was, it was a good day. Hopefully, everyone's talking to me still. Don't know, hopefully. Um, and then I'm out this weekend again at Castle White Yard Party, so yeah, some, some, I'm going to get me eat some food and drink some water. <laughs> Might take a glass of a bottle of water down with me. And you know, as a beer reviewer, I really, really don't want to be drinking thirds. I really don't. I only want to drink six, fifths or sixes. It's not because I'm tight, it's because I want to drink more beers, but do the reviews and just enjoy the taste of the beers i can drink a beer properly when i'm at home as i do but when i'm out i'd rather drink less and, and enjoy and just sample the taste and do what is a great hobby um although social media is an absolute pain in the backside but i still do it for bedevilment and i've got 260 viewers uh, followers on tiktok now so that's going up <coughs> it's a stranger platform there but there you go So the air's got to this now. Back to the review. The air's got to this now. Um, got a lovely roasty, toasty element to it. Like I say, when I went to the brewery, um, a good fella showed us round his kit while we were there. Because I'm a nosy bleeder anyway. <laughs> and, uh, beer's beer. You know, bre brewing's brewing. And, uh, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who's, got, who's, who's big into the beer community and the beer scene that goes around asking those questions. I mean, I've got mates in Nottingham beer scene who are just as inquisitive as what I am. Um, but, uh, yeah. And uh, in a few days' time, good fellas coming down to Nottingham and uh, we'll be popping over for a pint, or three, and uh, at the Star Inn. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we all deserve a bit of goodness in this life, don't we? You know, and um, when you look at what the brewery can work, the brewery scene's going through at the moment. For any brewery to be surviving is a good thing. Surviving and progressing is an even better thing. I see local breweries around me, Lenton Lane. They're expanding. Neon Raptor putting free beers out a week into cans. Bang the Elephant are putting more beers into cast than I've ever seen them put into cast. Black Iris doing the same. So, as much as there is doom and gloom in the beer industry, no, there is no doubt about it, there is doom and gloom. There was also a lot of positivity, a lot of positive brewing going off. A lot of people doing well. Or doing decent. And, and maybe then more. So, you know, it's not all about negativity. Too much negativity in the world, anyway. It's bad for your mental health. So, oyster catcher. 4.2%. Yes. Very enjoyable stout. I presume it is a stout. Um, like I say, roasty toasty. Chocolate coffee going off. Uh, I'm not sure about the oyster. I'm not sure about oyster at all, really. I've had oyster stouts before, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, tasting well. A good 4.3 out of 5 for me. And, uh, yeah, it feels nice to have a chat. Beer reviews are great, but sometimes you need a chat and a beer review. And eventually, back to doing lives again. Um, at some time soon. Oh, 
and that's it for this video as always thank you for watching commenting liking subscribing community is king follow your favorite breweries comment uh, that social interaction i tell you what is so so important uh, for all breweries little breweries big breweries um, breweries that make good beer at least <laughs> chisel